A new study from the NIH finds hair straightening chemicals are associated with a higher risk of uterine cancer. Researchers say women who used hair straightening products frequently more than four times in the previous year were twice as likely to develop uterine cancer. That study warns African American women may be more affected due to higher use of these types of hair products. Joining us now in studio tonight to discuss is criminal defense attorney April Prayer. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Can you share with me, uh, is there one woman's story in particular that stands out to you that really is sticking with you? There is. So I've talked to probably 200 women in just the last couple of weeks. And the one story that stands out is a woman who got a relaxer as a young girl, which is the story I'm hearing over and over, six or seven years old, and then later developed not only fibroids, but also developed endometrial cancer. And now she's wondering if this product that she used for all those years was actually the culprit. And so it's just heartbreaking to hear one story after the other um, from women who have had numerous surgeries, but both seem glad to finally have some sort of answer for what's been ailing them. It's, it is hard, and can you explain, it does seem to be affecting a specific community. And, and what is the age that someone might, you know, at a very vulnerable age when the body is still developing, might start using these kinds of products? And we're talking about four times a year, realistically, how many times a year could one be exposed? to these products? So I had a relaxer from the age of 11 to the age of 25. And on average, I would get relaxers every six weeks. So wow. you get a relaxer and then you get what we call a touch up, mm -hmm. meaning you get your new, new growth treated as well. So four times a year is a little bit unusual. Most yeah. women I'm talking to were getting it done as frequently as I was. So the age I'm hearing actually surprised me. I thought that most people were 11 or 12 like I was. But I'm hearing much younger. I'm talking to women who've gotten relaxers since they were four, mm. and now they're in their 60s. And so what's remarkable about the study that was done by the um, National Health Institute is that they followed women for 11 years, 33, almost 34,000 women. Yeah. And of those 34,000 women, they saw that it doubled your chances of having endometrial cancer in particular if you had had a relaxer even one year for those four times like you mentioned. So that's not the norm. Most people were getting it much more often than that. And then they find themselves with these horrible gynecological conditions years later. And we know groups of women who have developed uterine cancer already suing companies like L'Oreal now who make these hair straightening products in light of the study results. What can we expect? What lawsuits are, are going to be coming now that this information is out? You can expect lawsuits against all the big boys in black hair care. So L'Oreal and Revlon and Cream of Nature and the list goes on and on. So all of those that contain these products is called phthalates, mm -hmm. which basically make your hormones go haywire and attack your gynecological or, um, organs your reproductive organs and cause fibroids, endometriosis, endometrial cancer, and also ovarian cancer. So you're gonna see a number of lawsuits all across the country from black women who had relaxers and later developed these conditions. And what will they be asking for? Are they gonna be asking for compensation for their medical care? Is, is it damages? Are they asking for warning labels to be put on them, for things to be pulled from the shelves? What, what can we expect? So yes, they will be asking for compensation. They will be asking for damages. So it's still a personal injury lawsuit. It's a mass tort lawsuit, which is a bit of a misnomer. It's not the same as a class action. It means individual women, multiple individual women will be going after the same companies. And so yes, they will be asking for compensation for the harm that was done to them for these multiple surgeries, for any medical care that they had, and obviously for the emotional damage that was done as well. But I anticipate that we will see some changes like you mentioned, that there will be some re regulations because right now there are no re regulations required for these products to hit the shelves. Not only that, you don't even have to list all of the ingredients in the United States. Right. You can list them as fragrance, and that's kind of a catch-all for all the bad stuff. I mean, that seems like a no-brainer, the first thing that, that absolutely should change. April Prayer, I certainly appreciate your time, and I can only imagine for so many women who have been going through a medical nightmare to finally have an answer and to, to think this is the thing that may have caused this. It's, it's going to be a long journey ahead, I know, but I appreciate your insight and time tonight. Thank you. It will be a long journey. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.